Hey guys, Chris Meets with Icon Ecom. Uh, today we're taking a look at how to configure your Shopify store to be able to charge for calculated shipping uh, based on the item's weight uh, instead of instead of just a flat rate option. Uh, so in a previous video, we showed you how to set up your account uh, so that when we invoice you, you get invoiced for that calculated rate. Uh, so in this video, we're gonna go over a little bit uh, on how you can set up your Shopify store uh, to be able to charge those rates as well. So the first thing that you'll notice uh, when you come into any of your products now, uh, if it was recently pushed, uh, you will notice that on all of the products, uh, there will be a weight now that gets pushed over to Shopify with it as well. Uh, this is a single variant product, um, but the, the weights are pushed over uh, for each variant option as well for all of the different sizes. Now we'll go in to configure our shipping options so that the calculated rates are displayed at checkout. So if you come down here to settings and then go into shipping and delivery, uh, you can see right now I don't have any shipping methods set up. You may already have some methods set up and some, some rates already in here. So you may need to uh, add this as additional shipping profile. Uh, depending on what additional products you're selling on your store. Uh, so we're going to come in here to manage rates. And in this case, uh, this is my general shipping profile. So I want this to apply to all products. Uh, we are shipping from 401 South Maple in Hamble, Missouri. Uh, you want to make sure that shipping origin is set correctly because that affects the shipping rate. And then down here, we're just going to click on add rate and we're going to use carrier calculated rates and select USPS. And the only shipping options that we want is a first class package and priority mail. So just those two options. And then down here under handling fee, now this is kind of up to you on how you want to set this up. Um, as I mentioned earlier, Shopify doesn't do a very good job as far as dimensions go and using that to calculate rates. So sometimes dimensions of a box can get larger, which will up the shipping rate a little bit. Um, so to account for any kind of those uh, little discrepancies uh, and to make sure you don't get too far upside down on shipping ever, uh, I would recommend adding in a percentage here on your handling fee. Um, I'm going to put in 10%. You can really put in whatever you're comfortable with. If you want to go a little bit more and have a little bit higher margin on the shipping side, that's really kind of up to you on how you want to set this up. So then we're going to select done. And then if we want to do the same thing for our international rates, we'll come in here and go to add rate. Again, use carrier calculated rates. We're going to select post office once again and we're going to go first class package international and priority mail international. And in this case, again, I'm gonna put in 10% for the calculated rate. And then we're going to click on save and that's all there is to it. Now our Shopify store is set up to charge those calculated rates in real time at checkout. If you're also selling on Etsy or any of our other platforms, make, to make sure to check out those videos on how to set up calculated rates on those platforms as well.